Ouais, je voulais ton anglais et français. Salut les adoux, c'est JF de France sur The Walking Dead 5. <rire> Qui s'est mal fini, mais d'ailleurs. Oui, c'est pinou. Je crois que je suis pas du bien pour toi. Oh, j'ai du pas tout à l'heure. Pinou. Mais tu fais beaucoup de bruit, t'es Pinou. Previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one of the same many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Get out of your misery right away. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Keep it. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. C'est une vraie boucherie Vous êtes les amis au choix que vous faites, mais histoire de vous en prendre de vos choix. Mais pas tout le temps. Merde, ça fait toujours pareil C'est moi qui me dèle, c'est son cœur. J'ai dit, on va l'écrire au jeu, mon ami. On est, est trop pourris, c'est ça. Ouais, c'est pas une nuit vitale russe qui a fait un You should have stayed down. Yeah, yeah, I know. God, he got me in the leg, but I went straight 
Do I have you plug in the computer pop? Wait a Je vais pas merder. Je vais te dire. Je vais Il <rire> a buté tous les Ruskov, allez pour vous Ruskov. Jesus Christ. That was, uh, that was intense. I thought, man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. <coughs> I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. <laughs> Tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. He deserved it. He was trying to kill us. Yeah. That's why I did it, but it felt wrong. <sighs> you sure about this? As sure as I'm gonna be. Let's go. J'aime bien les monstres euh, armés, moi. <coughs> j'en ai racheté 6. Voilà, j'en ai plus de 5 parce que. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest easy. Guys, get off me! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please. Move out of the way, Mike. You... Clem, you, you don't mean that. Is it his house? Food? Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no, it's true. We have place, not far, for food. See, he wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? <coughs> and I want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. <coughs> Back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. He's lying. We can't trust him. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. 
Look, don't start, all right? I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. <laughs> we got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. J'adore ce point. C'est pas juste une raison de te pas te tuer. Je l'ai tellement entendu dans Red Dead. Ça me sort de. On a essayé, il va faire une trilogie Red Dead, non Red Dead Redemption, peut-être. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I, I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good, but I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me, despite everything I've seen. So, you want a cookie? You want a cookie for doing the right thing? If you have one, I'll take it. <laughs> what I'm saying one is, I'm here to try to make this work. If I get a cookie for that, then awesome. All I can do is promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have a few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... he's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. He's lost. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work... It might be too late. I'm afraid of that too. But we still have to try. At least then we'll know for sure. <coughs> Come on, slow pokes! Hey, the game of the slow pokes. Dans ce cas, nous va dire d'Allemagne, nous voulons conquérir votre putain de berlin. Nous voulons tous des chars avec l'ancien plan pour réduire le nazi à l'heure. Nous les russes nous n'avons pas de l'évite. Je crois que j'ai fait l'allemand, je crois que je sais pas si du russe c'est l'allemand, ça me De vrai, de vrai, j'ai Wait. Oh, tu es à No, no, oh, tu I'm not. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. <laughs> Fucking talking to you. He deserves it. He deserves to be treated like a human being. That's all I'm saying. After what he did, what happened back there was his fault. He lost all his people in one fell swoop. Ain't much we could do to him that'd be worse than that. Kenny, please, ease up on him. Just fucking stay put. Ne voulons ça. Nous voulons éliminer Allemagne. Nous voulons conquérir. What are you the plan of yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Nous voulons traverser la mer patrie. Pour vous leur. Okay. Donnez pouvoir à vous. Moi, je te ferai du mieux, Vusco. Moi, je vous à conquérir base allemande. Conquérir base allemande. Je sais de pas où est-ce qu'il faut qu'ils sont en train de faire. Don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of piss and matches too. I noticed that too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other to something. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I've been in enough spitting contests to agree with you. Je suis un peu plus de temps. 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 Je suis un peu plus
Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. <sighs> hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? <laughs> I'll be right back. Ça sera vraiment, ça sera les hein. How are you feeling? If I'm being honest, I've been better. Comme tout le monde. Très bien, voilà, on va à la fin de les 16 ans pour les gommer. On dit j'en rappelle, non, je rigole. Beaucoup plus de muscles. En 5 ans. How did we get here? Je suis beaucoup plus de muscles en 2 ans qu'en euh, qu 5 ans de scolaire. We walked. At least most of us did. You basically had to be carried. Sitting in the snow. Lean up against a tree. Bullet in my leg. We're alive. Enfin, en, en, so many of my friends are dead. En 10 ans de scolaire. No good reason. Dis-le, oui, c'est une tempe. Et t'as le scolaire, elle est quand même. Everyone we set out with just gone. Beaucoup plus de muscles. Beaucoup plus de muscles en 2 ans qu'en 8 ans de scolaire. Carlos. Sarah. You can't blame yourself. We all made mistakes. <laughs> Some of us more than others. I could have done more. And that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones. And I gotta live with it. All right. This should work. <laughs> That's perfect. What'd I miss? <laughs> hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know. Mostly. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. And good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? I'm sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem, go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. Okay. Bad a girl. That's gonna sting. But only for a second. It's gonna clean it. <laughs> I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Moi, je vais être mes nouveaux draps. Bon, bien chaud. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean... I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah. Me too. Alvin Jr. Yes, Jr. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. You shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Gonna be pretty when this heals? Well, it looks a lot better than it did. And maybe my modeling days ain't over. It's kind of strange that you're using a functionality like that. So, I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. So this is gonna hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. <laughs> Holy fucking hell! You need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Ah. <sighs> 
Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. Man, is that smart. You can hear a few bad words. I've heard plenty. Yeah, that shouldn't have been the case. I should have gave myself up. Alvin didn't have to die like that. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. It should be him, not me. Carver's the one who did it, not you. Yeah, I suppose. But I can't help but feel guilty. Because you're a loupé! Mais Carver's une couche! Oh, ça va, hein? Oh, ça pourrait être pire, hein? Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. Encore du chemin. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you. What? It? it it's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. He doesn't speak much English. Yeah, no shit. Arvo, that's not what you're taking us to, right? How much further is the house you were talking about? <laughs> Answer her, goddammit! There's still more walk. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen! This guy fucked us! Uh, thank you. No mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. Stop fighting. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night where everyone isn't at each other's throats? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. <laughs> Baby mush. <laughs> J'arrive pas à dire ça. That's all you. Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah. <laughs> He's cute. He is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got him. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. So, how old are you now? I am 27 years old. That's pretty old. <laughs> sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that. <laughs> Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. 
That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, ma'am. All it being your birthday and all. Figure. This is as good a time as any. <laughs> I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. I feel a little guilty taking the first. Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the. Uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <laughs> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way, and to the hope that we see them again someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah. I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That well, was... I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Come on, Kenny. At least have a drink. Nah. Maybe later. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just don't know what she's getting at all this. She usually travels by herself. It has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. Well, that explained a few things. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. Guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Eh, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right. It wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. <laughs> don't do shit. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. That, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. Both of you. I don't know if you can put that kiss on my face and put that thing. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I'd come back for you. You know what I mean. Well, thank you, Clem. I do the same. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. <sighs> Shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man. So they can take that shit somewhere else. <laughs> Go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. C'est du rhum. Qui? Puis elle veut pas taper dedans. Hein? Oh. 
expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to, you know, be around. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah, because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? really good. <laughs> it's okay. Um, sure. <laughs> you okay? Uh-oh. Busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? Oh, it was dumb. Earthquake or something. It sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. <laughs> you the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals. And I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. Wow, that's really stupid. Yeah, Clem, I was drunk. Outbreak. The problem with glasses that looks reach. a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. Holy shit. I haven't thought about that in a long time. <laughs> I guess a deal's a deal. Here. Please, you offer selfie! I could. It's cute. Time to not make it weird. Want to sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. Est-ce qu'on va boire un varo On va boire. On va faire une petite cuite à un varo Varo Tu l'as encore une arme contre lui I'm. I'm sorry about your sister. Elle a encore une bouteille de vin, de rhum. Rum de rum 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 I know you think you're older, but you're not. You didn't ask. You told me not to. You're not my dad. You're my friend. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. It's a nice night. Just uh, needed some air. Kenny. I think he's always going to be able to
sorry for how I acted back there after Serena was. I just. I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. You did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You, you really hurt my feelings. I did my best, and. I know. I was just in darkness, and you showed up with some light. But I thought I needed to stay there a little longer when I should have went with you. Okay. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him, from my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Katja's face. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watching on my own. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. Happy Green John! On fait tourner, fait tourner, serviette! Tourner, 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 tout! Uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> All right, enough of that. How you, Clem? It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah, we need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. It's a nice thing to do. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I uh, don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted.
You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. He marched with a musket. Close, very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please, come. I'm really starting to think you're full of shit. It can't be much further. Kitty, look out! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Kitty! Jesus Christ! <laughs> that was close. Fucker came out of nowhere. That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. It's not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. Is there any other way to get there? Do we have to cross the lake? I should have stuck to the tree line. The fastest way between two things is a straight line. It's not far. Just be on the lookout. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. If we just go real slow, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, no need to rush this. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. No. No, dash, dash, dash. Ouais, c'est trop serré là. Ouais. Elle craque. On va en pique une mission. Ah ouais, ça me rappelle le tel de Gardien de Galactique. We're okay. Don't worry. Mm, he will come. Yeah, he will come. We got long. some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. Should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. It's too much to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! They made it. Ouais, j'ai dit qu'il n'y pas se sortir. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> you got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just I just gotta be careful. Oh! Oh, no! You gotta get out of there, Luke! Yeah, Clem! I'm working on it! You need to help! No! Clem, go! Go help no, him! No, Clem, Clem, do not! Just go back for him! You're lying! That's I'm killing her that! Clem, look at me! Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time! Clem, you can make it, but you need to go! Clementine, stop! Clementine! <laughs> Go back. I got you. Please. 
Ah putain, je vais à la prise de game. On va y voir. Ah donc ils sont vraiment nagés. Ah bah ça va venir de froid. Ou alors ils c'est que les réflexes. Oh, ça, je le saccage. Le chariot. You son of a bitch. This is your fucking fault. Kenny, don't man. Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault. The hell it ain't. Kenny has what? Crazy. <coughs> what? Because your friend here turned out to be a shitbag after all. He's just a scared kid. This ain't on him. Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Oh, you, you fucking commie piece of shit, Kenny! Fuck you! Il a vraiment le tapé à mort? Fuck the fuck, Kenny! Il l'a vraiment tapé bien. What did you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili? How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it.
tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> La pâte est assez forte. I thought I had matches. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. <laughs> Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. <laughs> Here, you should eat something. You okay? believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up and be out of here by nightfall. Just give me a minute. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem, just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean some bitch, but he taught me respect. A girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. A 
so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's gotta be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago, just before I met Ken. All right, turn it again. <laughs> Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! We'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! Never <laughs> seen that look before. Son of a bitch! Oh, damn it. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. You might be right. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. <laughs> it seems like you've done that before. It's not rocket science. I feel like I'd drop it. Okay, I'm in charge of the baby holding. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working.
works. What I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Let's just get out of the snow. I'm all for that. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Jenny, it's freezing up here, man. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, you might be right. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some help he's been. He got loot killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, their big plan is to wander around in the woods. They ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. <laughs> we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem. Think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me that he doesn't have all the answers. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. <coughs> Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. 
It's the only chance that child has. Damn it, Kenny. Look around. There's nothing out here. Wellington doesn't exist. It's just a... It's just a story. You don't know how much it hurts to hear you say that. Tomorrow, you'll see how wrong you are. there. Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clem. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clem. We're just leaving. Keep it down, all right? Nobody else has to get involved. That's everything we have. Listen, we just got to get away from that guy, Clem, okay? Who, Kenny? Damn it, just, we don't have time for this. Just, just be quiet, Clem, please. Parce que j'ai un c'est le jeu. Non, c'est bon. Alors, il l'a fait. Alors. Je vais faire un flashback. Just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. Lee? Hmm? Well, why did Lily do that to Doug? I don't know. 
She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. That's a dumb reason. You're right. It is. Clem, people don't always make sense. Plus je, plus je joue à ça, plus j'ai envie de jouer au premier. Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? Maybe. She's kind of crazy. I don't know. She wouldn't make it very long out there alone. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That I won't have to hurt anyone. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> well, let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. out from the shock. Am I gonna be okay? You should be. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian, but Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to Howe's. Carver's camp? What the fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from my cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You want to die out here? You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done. 
playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I am so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. Jane, Kenny loved Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. It can't talk back yet. Fuck you! You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're going to end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Well, well, I do a... Okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? Kenny. Yeah, I'm almost sorry for you. Some we block. Fucking asshole. God, I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it, Clem. Everyone's like that around him. You know that. Clem, we could leave right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit there!
Jane? Kenny! You all right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane! Il va vraiment mourir, hein. Je suis là. Il est foutu en tant que tuer hein.
We almost made it. We were close, weren't we? <coughs> I thought I wanted this. Asked for it so many times. Now that it's happening, I'm scared. <coughs> I'm afraid, Glenn. It's okay, Glenn. You're, you're going to see Kutch and Doug. You're going to see them again. Oh, you're always good for a smile. Alive. I understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I didn't think Kenny would go that far. But it's over now. I don't understand. Kenny was dangerous, and I needed you to see that. One way or another. What are you saying? I had to do it, Clem. You saw how he reacted. I had to show you what he was capable of. It was a stupid plan. I should never have lied to you. But I thought it was the only way you'd see. Oh, my God. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. I'm not going anywhere with you. Clem, please. I did this for you. I can't do this alone, okay? Is that what you want to hear? Clem? Neuf jours plus tard, en enfer.
ਕੋਲ ਨਸ ਕੇ ਮਰਿਆ Merci à vous. Si ce chef fait une magnifique série de The Walking Dead. Ah, 100% fini. Ah, vous savez combien de temps Combien de personnes qui ont fini le jeu En entier. On va attendre 33 pour 31%. On ira. Ah, ça descend doucement. On a commencé à 50... 60% environ. 60% ont commencé le jeu, mais ils n'ont pas fini. <rire> 